WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160. Time now for one of our interview segments presented by Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. And I got to tell you, this is big. S&T Bank is celebrating its 120th anniversary, and the celebration starts today. And so we say congratulations. Best way we can do that is to bring in some representatives from S&T Bank to talk about that celebration. And we have with us here Jordan Kometz, who is the Executive Vice President of Sales Strategy and Marketing. So, Jordan, thanks very much for taking time out of your busy schedule to join us here on Indiana in the Morning. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing great, and it's my pleasure. I really appreciate you having us this morning so we can talk about this exciting time for S&T Bank. So, S&T Bank, 120 years ago to this day, in fact, opened up for the first time. And it's absolutely amazing. First off, a business lasting 120 years. That is definitely an accomplishment. And I'm sure that people have been taking a look into the history of S&T Bank, too, as, as part of this celebration. That's right. So we have so many unique stories to tell this year, and we are just getting started. So you're right. Today is our um, actual anniversary date, May 19th. So we opened our doors in 1902 on this day. Mm -hmm. And so we've actually been celebrating all week long with our employees and we're doing a series of celebrations. Our leadership team is visiting every location in our network. So every building, every branch, every colleague is going to get a visit. And we're really using this week to celebrate our employees because they've made all the difference for us to be in business for this long. It's amazing how over the years S&T Bank has expanded from just one bank that started here in Indiana. It's now uh, all over the region, in fact. Talk about it. Though. That's right. So um, we did start with uh, one location, and we've expanded through a series of mergers and acquisitions over 120 years. And now we, um, we, we have branches as far west as Ohio and Columbus, and we go as far east as Philadelphia. So we've got a really nice network spread out across five different markets, including western Pennsylvania as well and Buffalo. It, that's amazing to think our little bank here, S&T, in Buffalo, New York, or in Philadelphia. I know there's S&T branches in Pittsburgh because I've been down there a lot and uh, out in Ohio as well. Uh, it just shows how successful it is and how I think people trust S&T Bank because they are very much a still a hometown ideals bank. They have those great ideals of putting trust in some in a great company like that like that and bringing that forward into today. That's right. And I'm glad you mentioned the word trust. It's actually a little ironic that you did because when we started our our name was Savings and Trust. And we recently found out last month that we won the J.D. Power Award for overall satisfaction with retail banking in Pennsylvania All right. based on the category of trust, along with our people, our account offerings, and convenience. So I, we were really proud to see that trust was at the top of the list when we won that honor. That is amazing. And kudos to everybody there for that. J.D. Power, one of the biggest award companies out there for businesses. So to be named as one of their best yeah, that's exciting. Obviously, S&T Bank has had a great impact in Indiana County. Uh, for some of the things have just come off the top of my head. The S&T Bank Arena at the White Township Rec Complex. Sponsorships of uh, Little League teams or uh, other organizations to help the youth in the area. One of the big things that I think has helped out with Renda Broadcasting has been S&T's contributions to the Teddy Bear Fund Drive and bringing B.E. Taylor to town. So, being a community-based bank, you certainly do love to give back to the community as well. Absolutely. And, Josh, I'm really excited about that aspect of what we do. Um, we, a lot of banks can call themselves a, a community bank, but mm -hmm. we actually we walk it out every day. And what we're doing this year to com commemorate our anniversary is we're actually providing eight additional hours of paid community service for every single one of our employees. Oh, wow. So the employees get to go out and they get to perform community service, I guess, of their choice? Yep. We call it community give back, and we give them eight hours a year. And this year we're giving them 16 because we think it's that important that we spend a couple of days paid out in the community serving you know, things that they're interested in and, and finding those needs that we can meet. That's great to spread the joy like that and to – have it be a part of the credo of each employee of S&T Bank as well. It just shows, again, how much community involvement there is. Also, the fact that uh, S&T Bank, well-known uh, in the sports world, at least for Penguins fans, the Penguins Radio Network for, for, the, for many years, sponsored by S&T Bank. Uh, and also, you've had great sponsorships as well with uh, 
a certain Pittsburgh Steeler, Jerome Bettis. I know mm-hmm. that as well. But talk about the fact that, it, that there is this great outreach. I mean, it's not just it's not just the bank. It's it's the whole thing. It's it seems like it's just a lot of great areas that S and T gets involved in. Yeah, and we we've had a great uh, relationship with the Penns Radio Network over the years. Um, and, and a, some exciting news we just announced a few weeks ago is we're just partnering right now with iHeartMedia to be the exclusive presenting sponsor of the Pittsburgh Steelers radio uh, podcast network, actually. Okay, so yeah. that's so expanding even further. That's right. That is great. All right, so you talked about one part of the upcoming 120th anniversary celebration, that great employee program for giving back. What are some other things that are going to be going on this year as part of that celebration? Well, we've got lots of things planned. So um, one of the things I'm most excited about that's launching today is we've done a video looking back all the way to 1902 that's documenting our history. It's about two and a half, three minutes long. It's going to be posted on all of our social media platforms today. So LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do a series of videos, Josh, throughout the year. Uh, One very focused on employees and the difference they've made across this 120 years for us one focused on customers, and one later in the year focused on our community. And all of those are going to be made available to our customers and um, anybody that wants to see them on a new landing page that's going live this morning. Oh, excellent. And so it's stbank.com forward slash ST120. That's going to house all of these videos, all of the memories, photos from our parties with our employees today, and all of the neat things we're doing throughout the year are all going to land on that page. Okay, that web address again, stbank.com slash st120. Yep. That sounds like it's a lot of fun. I bet a lot of research went into all of those videos, too. There is, and we're just getting started. We're, we're crafting a list of all, all of the best stories that we have over the years and just the really meaningful ways that we've impacted customers, the way they've impacted us. And I think we're going to put something together that's very, very special. Also, one of the things that I noted in the recent news release about the 120-year celebration was uh, that you're going to be focused on sustainability for future generations. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, definitely. So that's something that we are focusing a lot of attention on. You know, as we think back on our history, it's important that we think about how do we stay and how do we create a sustainable environment um, for our communities. And so we're, we're focusing on a tree planting initiative, among other things. Nice. Our president, Dave Antolik, actually just planted a tree at main office a few weeks ago mm-hmm. uh, to kind of kick things off. We also uh, participated in a tree planting of thousands of trees down at the airport um, location a couple, of, a couple of weeks ago. So we're committed to planting trees across our footprint all year, and we're also doing some waste elimination uh, projects across our locations, trying to eliminate paper, yeah. trying to eliminate, you know, styrofoam cups and things like that. Just those little things we can do to give back. Uh, little by little. And I like the tree planting ceremonies as well, because that's a permanent reminder of the celebrations and the fact that s and Bank is a longtime institution and will be a longtime institution for years to come. That's right. Talk about some of the other things that are going on with this 120th anniversary. This is This is great news. I mean, Let's talk about some of the other parts of the celebration well, this year. One of the um, one of the funny things uh, that we learned, well, I learned. I think a lot of others knew about it um, while we were doing the research for the first video that's launching today. Mm-hmm. Realized that our main office, um, right on Philadelphia Street, sits on the very location that Jimmy Stewart's parents' hardware store used to sit on. Yeah, the J.M. Stewart Hardware Store, the big warehouse, as it was called back in the day. I have to say, though, that also the bank has taken great pains to make sure that people know that there is a nice monument on the back of that main sign if people take a look back there. Yeah, definitely. Um, The other thing that I'm really excited about is we're going to be doing some fun, what we call surprise and delights this year Um. um, for our social media followers. So we're going to be sending out some gift packages with all sorts of like fun um, merch and just some swag and things that are branded S&T and some fun things for summer. And so if you're following us on Instagram, um, you'll actually have a chance to see that and you'd have a chance to actually hashtag it and we could send, end up sending you one of those surprise and delight boxes. So follow S&T Bank on Instagram mm-hmm. and just wait for those surprise announcements to come up and you could uh, be a recipient of some great uh, items from S&T Bank. That's right. That is excellent. 
Jordan, there's a lot going on with this celebration, and we can't wait to see what comes next. So I'll just say that we're just about out of time for our segment this morning. But I want to say congratulations to S&T Bank. Thanks again for 120 years from to this organization, and hopefully another 120 more. And stop by any time you want to talk more about the 120-year celebration. I will. Thank you so much. Thank you again. Jordan Kometz joining us this morning here on Indiana in the Morning, our interview segment presented by Marcus and Mac, a law firm representing injured people. It is 822.